with brain plasticity. Brain was thought to be more or less fixed. All the neuronal connections in numbers and quantities were thought, till, till the last 20 years, thought to be more or less fixed when we reached the adult age. Now recently it has been found that it can change a lot. A violinist, as we heard, we have done 10,000 hours of violin practice. Some area that controls the movements of fingers in the brain change a lot. Increase and reinforcement of the synaptic connections. So can we do that with human qualities, with loving kindness, with patience, with openness? So that's what those great meditators have been doing. Some of them who came to the labs, like in Madison, Wisconsin, or in Berkeley, did 20 to 40,000 hours of meditation. They do like three years retreat where they do meditate 12 hours a day and then the rest of their life they would do that three, four hours a day. They are real Olympic champions of mind training. <laughs> the bell curve shows uh, 150 controls. And the, the, what is being looked at is the difference between the right and the left frontal lobe. In very short, people who have more activity on the right side of the, of the prefrontal cortex are more depressed, withdrawn, they don't describe a lot of positive effect. It's the opposite on the left side, more tendency to altruism, to happiness, to express and curiosity and so forth. So there's a basic line for people and also it can be changed. Here the minus 0.5 is a four standard deviation of a meditator who meditates on compassion. It's something that is totally out of the bell curve. Also, it has been shown in other labs, for instance, Paul Ekman's labs in, in, in Berkeley, that there, some meditators are able also to control the emotional response more than it could be taught. It's more to say that mind training matters, that this is not just a, a luxury, this is not a supplementary vitamin for the soul, this is something that's going to determine the quality of every instant of our life. We are ready to spend 50 years achieving education. We love to do jogging, fitness. We do all kinds of things to remain beautiful. Yet, we spend surprisingly little time taking care of what matters most, the way our mind functions, which again is the ultimate, determines the quality of our experience.